Hey everybody, it's Glenn back with another Clash Royale analysis video. Let's have another look at a game from the No Tilt League World Championship Stage 2. This is the game that got Demas into Stage 3. And he's back with another Mortar usage. But the way this Mortar was played, it was really fascinating. So let's go through it right now. He doesn't bring more tar now, he brings miners. And Pandora answers with wall breakers. So it's a minor wall breakers play for sure. And those miners have to deal with the mortar there. So this mortar is already at half health, hasn't even done anything. And as we're going to see, probably won't be doing much in this game except standing there like a rock. Knight comes in as a distraction because you don't want it hitting that princess tower. And Dark Elm is placed on the other side, which is very good. So that Dark Elm is going to be free. And it has to deal with bats, so it doesn't do anything to the Princess Tower. I've just been fascinated by the different types of decks that have been used. And these games have been played just as the balance changes were being implemented. So it's fascinating to see what, what's been used before and after the balance changes. I think Miner's going to be here around to stay because I don't think it got touched during these balance changes. As we saw right there, it does damage to the tower. This Prince comes full charging and hits the Knight, which I thought was fascinating. The Bats come in to support the Knight. There wasn't a, there wasn't another card that Pandora wanted to use to help with the Knight. He let the Knight go. And was hoping that the bats would finish the prince, but they got zapped out of the way. And so that gives Demas a free opportunity to, to make a push. Ops to go with Mortar. Because there's no way you can deal with both of them at the same time. So Pandora says, okay, all right, I won't deal with them at the same time. I'm going to have to bring in a bomb tower to distract the Mortar. And then... Hopefully the prince will come in and go to the bomb tower, which he does after he deals with some spear goblins. And meanwhile, those bats come into play. So again, Mortar doesn't do anything to the princess tower. His focus is on other targets. Meanwhile, this miner comes in and does some more damage. And there, the Mortar gets a shot on the tower. And take a look at it and remember that shot that that Mortar does on the Princess Tower, right there. Because in this game, that's the only shot the Mortar gets on the tower. If I told you before this game started that Mortar is a win condition, but would get one shot on the tower all game, you would have told me that that Mortar user would have lost that game. And yet, here we are, it's fairly even with a minute and 15 to go, a minute and 14 to go. And I just thought about that as, as I was going through this game. It's like, there's no way Mortar, a win condition card, gets one shot on the tower all game and <laughs> player still wins the game. But here we are, double elixir time. And you got to imagine that Mortar is going to be coming in and, and trying to do more. Here come Wallbreakers, Mortar, and Pandora says, no, I'm not even going to deal with it. You're just, I'm just going to dump a bomb tower right here and just take it out immediately. Not distracted by playing over here where the Prince would come in, which w probably would have been, I don't know, it probably would have been effective too because you're going to have to deal with this miner. But Pandora said, no, I'm just not. I just don't want that Mortar to be doing anything. You know, the wall breakers are the wall breakers. They just, they just got distracted. But that, that Mortar's gone. And now the Myers just having a fun time on the tower because Prince has played up. You have to bring a knight because you don't want that Prince charging. And here comes another Prince. And it feels like the game is slowly starting to go Demas' way. Those wall breakers go to the... Mortar and another bomb tower played right up, which means Miner can get in free, get some shots on the tower, 
And Pandora was able to get uh, his minor up, but he's been playing more defense than offense. I mean, if you even look at this, this, this setup right here, you have a prince that's going to be fully charging versus knights slowly walking with bats. Those bats can get zapped. And the mortar comes in, the bats get zapped. You have to play the bomb tower so the, so the mortar goes there. Which means the Minor King break free again. I mean, it is, it's just fascinating how Demas played this game because I thought, you know, initially that, okay, Mortar is going to, go, is going to do massive damage and then Fireball will finish it off. But the way Demas played it was Mortar is going to be the distraction for everybody else. And Miner will do the damage and Fireball will finish it off. It was really fantastic. And we saw this again the rest of the way throughout. Mortar can't do anything except hit that bomb tower, but that's okay. Because that Miner is going to get in. Another Mortar gets played and a bomb tower gets played right up front. Which means once this Prince crosses the bridge, here comes the Miner. It's just so, it was fascinating to see how Demas just really just controlled this game by saying, okay, all right, you take my win condition away and it doesn't matter because I've got other guys that will, that will do the job and Miner did the job here. Unbelievable. It just, it just so smart play by, by Demas to, to say, okay, I can't win this way. The way that everybody would think that this is how it's got to be. I'm going to try to win in another way. And it worked out. I mean, the, the Mortar play was fantastic. Even though only one shot by the Mortar got on the tower. And yet Demas won this game. Fantastic. Congrats to, to Demas on advancing to stage three. Going to be joining Boss and Jupiter King. And we're going to be breaking down more games from Stage 2 as we find out who is advancing to uh, the next round to stay alive and become the world champion. So, it's been fun so far. I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe wherever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.